Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to create application menus and modules in application navigator in ServiceNow. So application menus and modules are the building block of navigation in your ServiceNow instance. These are really important if you want to make navigation in your ServiceNow instance for all of your users like a breeze. I will quickly show you what are application menu and modules in ServiceNow, how they look like. Let me jump to ServiceNow quickly. I'm in my ServiceNow instance and if you see on the navigator, all these menus which have sub menus or in ServiceNow terms called modules under them are called application menus. So they sell service, access, analyzer, app engine, availability and so on. All of these are application menus. And under application menus, we have modules. So whenever we click on, for example, dashboards, right? A dashboard would appear. If I click on service catalog, it will navigate me to the service catalog. So all these modules are configurable as well as application menus. But in modules, you can navigate the user to a list, to a dashboard, to a report, to a separator. And there are many other things as well. So if you want to make life easier, of your end user, you need to have proper application menus and modules for them. In this video, we will be creating a Service Desk Pro application menu and under that we will have two things. The first one is Service Desk Incidents. The other one is Service Desk Incidents Report. So we will be creating two modules under this application menu. And if you stay till the end of the video, I have a bonus for you as well. So let's quickly go and create these first of all. I will type application menus and then when I click on this under system definition, I will see the list of all the application menus. So there are 170 out of the box. I will go ahead and create one of my own and I would name this as service desk pro. So I'm trying to make the life of service desk people easier by creating a menu for them, which will have specific modules catered only to these type of users. I will give the roles as ITL in this example. If your service desk users have some specific roles, you can go ahead and give that role here. So basically this role specifies this application menu would be available to which role. So this application menu service desk pro would be available only to the people who have ITL role now. After this, if you see category, so this is the menu style of this application menu, which we are creating by default, it's selected as custom application. So we will keep it as it is. We can give a hint as well if you want maybe service desk tickets and then you can give a description as well. So it's up to you. I will click on submit here and a new application menu would be created. I will just search for that. So I will type service desk here and you would see service desk pro is created now. If I scroll down at the bottom, you would see module. So if you want to now create modules under this where the users can click and go to some specific report or the list of records, you can do it from here. I will click on new to create a new module. And as soon as I click on new, you would see here in the application menu service desk pro is automatically populated. So this new module would automatically appear under this menu. I would give here the name as SD incident. So that's what we are trying to do now. We are trying to create a list of incidents which are assigned to service desk. So I will name this as service desk incidents. I will give the order as 100. And here I can set the visibility as well, but I have set the visibility on the application menu level only that this should be available only to ITL. So it doesn't matter if you do it here, it will automatically inherit that role here. I will keep this link type as list of records. However, you would see there are many other options to select. For example, new record, run a report and separator and so on. We will look at couple of them later in this video. In the table, I would select the list of records from which table I want to display. I will click on this and search for incidents table because that is where all the incidents are saved. After selecting this, I will put a filter here. I will say assignment group is service desk. So all the incidents which are assigned to service desk will appear in this module. Next is arguments. So I can pass the arguments in the URL when somebody clicks on this module. We will see this in the next video where I will pass some arguments in the URL where I would want to make the filter which I have put here as read only. So we can do that as well using arguments. So subscribe to my channel to see that video.
after that you can give the window name as well so window name is nothing but the browser window name which you would not be able to see right now but we can give here maybe service desk incident so the window name of this browser would change to service desk incidents i will click on submit i will refresh this page and i would want to search for that service desk pro menu and you would see here service desk pro application menu has been created and under that there is a module called SD incidents. If I click on this, you would see it will show me the list of incidents which are assigned to this assignment group called service desk. After this, I would want to create another module for service desk incidents report. So this is the second type of module which we will explore. For this, I will again go back to my application menu and search for service desk pro. And when I click on this, I will scroll down. I will click on new. I will give the name as SD incidents report. I will give the order as 200 and here in the link type, I would select run a report. So here you would want to select the report which you want to run when somebody clicks on this module. I will search for a report which is out of the box, which shows all the incidents which are assigned to that particular users group. So this is the report open incidents by assignment and I will click on submit. Now this report should appear here on the service desk pro. I will click on service desk incidents report and this report will run automatically. If you don't know how to create reports in service now, I have a detailed video for that. Please click on the top right corner to check out that video and the link is in the description as well. So this is the report which is out of the box and we were able to navigate through this menu item. Now for the bonus part. So there is another type of module which I love. So this is the bonus. We will go ahead and create that. And before that, I would want to show you a shortcut as well. If you hover over this service desk pro, you would see this edit button. If you click on this edit, you don't have to again go to application menu search for service desk and click on that. So you can do it directly from here and this application menu record will automatically open. One thing to note is if you are creating application menus or modules, you should have an admin role. I will click on new and here I will create a separator. So what does this separator do is it will create a kind of a sub menu under this service desk pro and under that we can have more modules. So I can say service desk separator and I will give the order of 150 which would be between incidents and incidents report and I will select here separator and submit this. I will refresh this page search for service desk again for some reason service now has made this title empty i will try to rename this as to something else maybe service desk mini and i will save this and as soon as i save this it should start appearing here and you would see it has been separated by service desk mini and the incidents reports are coming under that so this is a very great module type to separate your application menus further it will help the users to see things more organized and as discussed i will show you sub menus or you can say separators which are already created if i type incidents here you would see under incident there is administration separator which is already created and under administration there are incidents properties and atf suites so this is how they have further segregated this application menu so this is really helpful one thing which i want you to note as well is for example if you make this service desk mini only available to admin and not to other users service desk mini would stop appearing for the non-admin users but the module which is under this will be still appearing to other people who are non-admins because you haven't put a role here so if you want to put a role on incidents reports as well you have to add that role separately I hope this video was helpful to you. You learned something new and the types of modules which I explained helped you up learning about modules more. There are other types as well which you should explore. And if you want to make a separate video for all these link types or the module types, please let me know in the comments and I will be happy to do that. And please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button.